Mm -hmm. Hi, everybody. This is Mark Hamilton coming to you from behind the Great White Stovall. And I want to continue my lecture series on things that we can do to come together as a nation across the political spectrum in order to make things better for everybody. I started off by noting what my problems were with the GOP and the fact that there's been way too much of a hyper focus by the GOP on on wedge issues and I then mentioned a, a few topics that I would move into where maybe we could come together well what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to just touch on an introduction to energy policy and energy independence and how we might think about that going forward I'm not going to cover in seven minutes all of the possible ideas and solutions we may come up with, but I'd just like to get the ball rolling and get some commentary back and uh, see what you folks out there think. I know before, I think, in one of my tapes, I had mentioned fracking and that some of you had even mentioned, I think via email, my producer tells me, that uh, you want to hear a little bit about it. Well, actually, if we want to get if we want to get together as a nation and really do something to restore economic growth and to actually put our nation in a much better position in terms of its respect and worldwide integrity, I think we need to look at ways of actually doing fracking or hydraulic fracturing for the recovery of oil and gas, okay, in a clean, environmentally sound way. Because from the numbers that I've looked at doing research, and oh, by the way, I'm not going to say I know all the numbers, because there must be tens of thousands of pages of data that one could go over giving various estimates on how much shale oil and shale gas we have obtainable by fracking, um, we've got a lot. And if we actually do, I really think President Obama now has the opportunity to actually lead on this issue in terms of shale oil and shale natural gas to actually become the transition fuel as we move to a green economy. So one of the things I think we could all get behind is the fact that we don't need another several trillion dollar war or wars going on in the Middle East because we have oil interests there. It would be really good if we could use what we have under the continental United States in order to give ourselves some independence. And we can probably do that using shale oil and shale natural gas where we hydraulically fracture rock well, well, well below surface water. I mean, down way deep and basically recover that so that we can basically have our own liquid fuels, um, especially for the transportation fleet. This would just decimate the geopolitical leverage that the dictators in the Middle East have over us, keep us out of a lot of wars and actually allow us to focus on defense and have a much leaner and meaner defense posture. And I've just lost the picture to Sun Microsystems. And this is not going well tonight because I'm getting interrupted, but I'm going to keep going because I, I do want to get this out and I don't want to stop. Anyway, we'll fix this computer glitch going along. Nevertheless, the potential for the recovery of shale oil and shale natural gas is absolutely enormous. And at the prices that are being had in the open market, there's plenty of profit left over to do this in an environmentally sound and sustainable way. The benefits to the U.S. economy would be enormous. The technology is evolving rapidly, and I would estimate that within five to ten years, we could probably be energy independent um, either within the United States or within the United States, Canada, and Mexico. 
So what I would like to do is to really get the discussion started here and, and actually say, let's all get together and think about using this technology as a, as a transition fuel as we move into the utilization of, say, solar, wind, hydro, geothermal, etc. Because that's going to take time, probably 30 to 50 years. And in the meantime, we can solve a lot of our problems, both in terms of economic growth, energy production, geopolitical leverage in terms of energy independence, and also cleaning up the environment because of the ability to export these natural resources and to command an incredibly high price. And oh, by the way, when you have these sources of energy, you can bring back manufacturing because things that manufacturing entities need more than ever is a good, inexpensive, dependable supply of energy. So I'm just going to end this segment by setting up the thought and laying a potential path out there for us to go in terms of energy by saying, let's go ahead and pursue all of the above and let's take advantage of the hydrocarbon resources we now have basically as a bridge to the future. I'm going to follow up later um, in more detail addressing pieces of how you would put all this together and and show why it actually is practical but for now i gotta tell you i've had a long day and i had a medical procedure this morning we were out at like six o'clock this morning and i'm getting tired so i'm going to log off now and have a nice evening i'll talk to you tomorrow